Goodbye, Kurt. It was nice seeing you. Psych. I can't really say that. He sucked. And I guess him becoming a demon was pretty obvious. But we get to see the actual antagonist who was shown in the opening as well. The guy that has like this visor. He's going around doing like these like humanoid like demon experimentation stuff. So we've gotten rid of Kurt. Now, Shin on the other hand is now like being heralded as a human. Because the last time a demonoid has been killed by, you know, someone like this was Merlin, our grandfather. So, you know, they're gonna be like, oh my god, it is the prophesized grandchild. You're the greatest thing ever. We're also making a new club called the Ultimate Magic Club. The amount of applicants for this after the events of last episode is gonna be absolutely insane. Let's see what's gonna happen today. Oh, Ma, this guy gun. Can Shin. Is he scoping out Shin? I wonder if the demon incident was... Obviously, it's for his own research, but maybe it had to do with more for Shin and less for Kurt. Who knows? Or maybe now he just figured out that Shin's OP. Damn, I feel bad for that guy. The, wait, 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 wait. So the person that Merlin killed, he, he actually made a mistake. And he was like, fuck. Whoops, I made a mistake. I was experimenting. Whoops. But Kurt was obviously... That guy did it. His research. Yeah, and Kurt sucks. He's not a high-level magician. Mm -hmm. He's onto something. Yeah. But he was talking. He was sentient. It's like a hybrid, artificial. Okay, okay. That part I think is you. If anyone else fought, probably Kurt was probably super strong. I think that's just you, dude. He's so smart. <laughs> and he's gone. No title again. What's going on, Unk? Okay. Okay. First order of merit. Okay, what is that? We're, we're just rewarding him, you know, based on his efforts. Or gets out fast. Yeah, it was too easy. Just, just compensation. Wait, when he just said that both of you accomplished before, does that mean that the guru was also there? I thought it was just Gramps that killed the demonoid, but it's making it sound like it was Grandpa and Grandma together that defeated the demonoid. And if that's the case, then it makes what Shin did even more insane that he did it alone. You're exploiting him, Unk! I don't think he is. Okay. If you decide to reward my grandson even more, we're getting out of here. How dare you give us the riches and prestige? Nah, it's more deeper than that, right? There's the whole aspect of Shin being this anomaly that's gonna turn out to be a political arms race if we start doing this, but it's pretty funny that we're like, do not reward us anymore. Stop it! Ah, uh, you're different, Merlin. The house is my fault. Blame Kurt. Yusha-sama! Yeah, but he got Sicily. And kind of Maria. Yeah, it already went too public. Sicily, Maria. One of them. What if both of them are? <gasps> Okay, okay. They probably enjoy the attention too. My own initiative. Oh, that was literally her line right, right back. Okay, our club, our club room. We need to have a entrance exam for the club. Everyone leaves. 
we got an entrance exam again, bro. Before it was for the school, now it's for a fucking club. Mm -hmm. By the same guy, probably. <laughs> Dominique, Dennis, Dicium, they're all D's, huh? D D D. They have the dimensional storage? That's mythy. Alright. Oh, really? Cool. Must be a risk kid then. Childhood friend. The brick oven. Nah, bro, they, they, they're not nobody. The daughter of like a famous ass restaurant. And the other dude is like a son of like a really popular gear shop. The brick oven. I love that name. Oh, this restaurant's like three star Michelin star. Like they're like, uh uh. No, no commoner can just get a reservation. You need to like advance like a month ahead. They seem like nice kids though, huh? Both of them. All you want to do is go to the restaurant. That's it. Enchantments. There it is. That's what it was. Like the blade was coated and it looked like a chainsaw almost, like the buzzing blades, but that's what it was, vibrating at ultrasonic speed. Damn. Like, imagine this context where you're trying to join a new club and these two kids, we just meet him and immediately it's like, Alright, can you make me a blade? I feel like, like, I know that they're happy to do it for shit, but like, imagine like the dynamic is like, alright, you just join here, alright, make me a new fucking blade, pal. <laughs> Big Bosoms is good at enchanting herself? He's an enchanter, huh? <gasps> the guru? Private tutoring? <laughs> Bro's eyes, bro. Bro's eyes are not locked in. Bro's eyes? Look at his eyes just waver. Uh, you can't see it. His eyes are going up and down. He's like, where, where do I look? Where, where, where do I look right now, bro? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I mean, that's the first thing you saw for Sicily, too. Yeah. Middle school teacher, right? That was a lab, right? Here he is. Mr. Strom. Rikaman. Can he see? Is he supposed to be blind? My guess on what happened to the- Okay, okay, first of all, let, let's just get him through. Let, 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 let's hear the lie first, because he's not going to answer properly, right? Yeah, what happened to the eyes? Because... Succession more and got exiled? During the succession more style, he got blinded? Hmm, okay, okay. My guess was that because... Like, he's so deep into demon research, and maybe he didn't cast it onto himself. But, and he's obviously using, you know, other human experiments. And Kurt's eyes were red when they, when he turned into a demonoid, right? His eyes were like bloody and red and all that stuff. So, I thought that maybe Mr. Strom had some sort of variant of the demon, you know, fucking science in him. And that made his eyes kind of go red, and he's hiding it by using this. But, maybe he just got blinded. <laughs> ストレナことを聞いてしまってすみません。ところで今日はどういったご用件で？まさか私の目のことを聞きに来られたわけでは、この学院で魔法の才能がある子を研究会に参加させ、非常に優秀な何か多くの生徒を研究会に誘い、随
if the noble family history backstory is true, then I feel like he's trying to use the demon noise to like set himself up for revenge, right? <laughs> Yeah. みんな魔法の実力を伸ばしてくれになりましたよ。だとすると、今回の件は。Yeah. あなたの意見も聞かせてほしいのです。I mean, he's gonna be able to gaslight himself out of this. Booba. Booba. Was that her tits? What was her tip of her hat? Okay, it was the tip of her hat. I, I thought this was a titty. But it was actually Cicely's hat, the beret at the top. ごめん。改良する剣のことを考えててさ。ウォールフォード君はどういう剣がおのだ。なんだけど。Katana. Make a katana. Yeah. We are probably stupid rich. But he went around giving around coins for apples. I feel like he, even though it's saying I don't get much allowance, he's probably like a fucking millionaire and like it like he everything about him, like he just doesn't understand what normal is so even the money he gets i bet is insane but like this guy did it all like you're gonna ask him for his insight can't he just like gaslight that was a lie it was a lie parade ground it was a lie and now they're bringing him in to fight what's gonna happen they already knew they all knew immediately now, in any other situation, I would be like, these shitty fucking Imperial soldiers, how dare you do this? But we know that this guy is an absolute trash being. So let's go. Let's go. Deceit. Damn. No one should have known, but you already knew. We bluffed. We acted as if he kind of knew about the events of the Demonoid. And he kind of says, he should have said, what? No way. But he knew. Giga mind play. But, but, even if you do everything right, I don't think these soldiers are going to get out of here alive. Like, this dude is not going to go down this episode. They're all going to die here. Objection! Create a demonoid army. Yep. He ain't the first one either. He's done? What that pink ball gonna do? But his, his tests are all done. Kurt's last experiment was the tipping point. Now bro's gonna get out of here? Well, he had like pink ball. I'm sure he's gonna be fine. I wanted to see a fighter, see how he got away, but there's no way he's getting caught here. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> bro went from talking shit to just dead. <laughs> I mean... Listen, he's probably one of the smartest NPCs I've ever seen in an anime. Like, his logic of thinking was like, Holy shit, you belong to class and be elite! But, uh, you know, it's like, it was gonna happen, right? Everyone knew this guy wasn't gonna get out alive. Middle school teacher? Oh, yeah. oh, He's <gasps> still alive! We're gonna fight right now? But even if shit is OP, I feel like Strom will get away. The animation always goes crazy. Nani? Wait, 
we should be able to fly, right? Like, like, there's no way we can't fly, right? Later, we can learn how to fly, right? Enchantments, though. Enchantments. Is he actually gonna lose today? The glasses are breaking. His glasses broke. Will it be red eyes? Will it be red eyes? Let's see it. Red eyes, Zaza. Dun, dun, dun. It was pretty obvious, right? Like, if he's doing the demon experimentations, I'm sure he's kind of on the Zaza. I'm sure he's on the fucking, you know, the sauce as well. And you're just hiding it the entire time. He's probably just, like, testing different experiments just so he knows what's safe to do to himself to obtain this demonoid power, right? That's what I'm assuming he's doing. Yeah, the lies, bro. Yeah. Like, his whole, his whole past was a lie. Was he truly a noble from before? Like, how much of that past was a lie? I wonder. True identity. I don't know. Yo, random reference. I feel like this is what's gonna happen in Tower of God Season 2 with the bongs. Remember the extra rooms? Remember how, like, in order to use Shinsu, it's basically like extra thing is showing up? So he has like one, two, three, four, five circles right now, right? Is that how they're gonna do Tower of God? You know, for the anime's content? Bong? He was charging a spear bomb the entire time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yo, 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 look above. Look above. Go, Pegasus, Star Blast attack. What the fuck? No one even knew. No one even knew. Above. This integrate! <laughs> Did he just kill another demonoid? Yo, when you ever see anime characters, you know, die like this, right? When their faces start to just turn into lines into a blank, right? This really did look like disintegrate, right? Look at all the magic circles happening. Um, did Shin actually just kill the main villain? Well, in the opening, there was like four separate villain characters when we saw him in the frame. I thought that he would last longer than this, though. Now what? Please be alive. I don't want Shin to die already. Don't chase it like that. I don't know. Disintegrate, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm just gonna assume that Mr. Strom is still alive. The little death flag joke there was kind of funny, but... I don't know. I, I just want him to be alive because I don't want like an important villain figure already die like, like four episodes deep, you know? Oh, uh, yes. We're gonna get another reward for this. Oh, this is the triple D's, right? You have Uncle Diz and you have Denison fucking... Uh, what was the other dude's name? Daniel? Denison Dick? Ah. Denison uh, Dominique? Dominique, that's right. Dominic. Change one letter of Dominic. And you have demonic. I don't like the way that this guy looks. Is it just me being, you know, mean to bald people? Or does this guy on the left just look a little shady to you? I am a baldest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, is Uncle Dis really surrounded by the right people? Can we trust these dudes? It's not his baldness. No, it's not him being bald, okay? It's, it's about the look of his eyes. Uh -huh. Dominic Gastor. Dominic Gastor. Dennis. <laughs> Never mind. He was not the Triple D's. He was not part of the King's Council there. My boy's name is Rupert Olgran. None of you fucks knew either. You've already seen this anime and you thought it was Dennis as well. You fucking fraud. You ain't no shit. Uh, disintegrate. 
That's Megiddo. He used the sun's light ray to make it down like a heat ray. That's basically Megiddo, right? Okay, sure. Did a heat ray really create that kind of explosion? So again, more suspicions as to if Strom really survived or not. I think he did survive. <laughs> Strom! Yeah. Alright, my man survived. Why? Why am I happy about him surviving? Because like they were building up to be a villain, like an important one. So I don't want him to die immediately, you know? Give us some more, right? <laughs> He released the explosive magic to quickly flee this area, and that's what he's talking about, the explosion of whether or not this looked like that explosion or right, right? That's exactly it. So he used that to mask it and leave. He would have really died there, huh? You'd be very cautious about it now. And that is today's episode of Wise Man's Grandchild, where our Yusha, or should I say Ayu, Shin Wolford has gotten a reward. And this is so funny how, like, we're rejecting the reward. We're like, how dare you give us this fucking reward, King? Uncle this. You serious, bro? We're gonna leave this place. But it's like, there's more context to it. The more attention we bring to Shin, the more other eyes will be on him. You know, it's like politically, it's not a good idea to cast him in the spotlight. So we're trying to be very cautious about that. But it's funny how we're like trying to prevent, you know, all the fucking glazing. Now, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, rumors spread really fast, right? Rumors spread really fast. And is Sicily and Gates? Well, not yet. Maybe one day. Maria seems to be perfectly fine with being cucked. Is, uh, not Dennis, but, uh, the other guy, you know, fucking dick over here, uh, fucking Dominique, is he evil? I think I'm just being a ball this. I think that he's actually fine. And then there was some other stuff, right, with talking with the other students. There's two new characters. One's, like, a blacksmith weapon creator. One's, um, this child's friend that just exists to have, like, a restaurant. And for the first time, we have an NPC that can actually use his line of thinking. Unfortunately, I think he died. Maybe he survived at the very end. And Strom... His backstory about, you know, succession war and how he got his eyes gouged out by his family members. A lie. Complete lie. He still has his eyes. He's just hiding the fact that he's a demon. But I wonder if that's the only thing that's a lie, right? I, I, I wonder if there is some truth about him being like an ex-noble and he's just doing shit. My guess is... He hates this kingdom for some reason, so maybe there's some partial truth about the, the past. And he wants to use the demon experimentations to kind of get back at the empire that's cast him out. That's kind of my guess. And luckily, you know, for us anyway, for my entertainment, he's still alive, so we'll see what he's going to be cooking up next time. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't get this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.